I have officially decided who my favorite green superhero is after seeing this spell. Sorry. to the release of Green Lantern has been very mixed on me. I did not like the first trailer at all, I thought some of the effects looked very fake, and some of the lines that Blake Lively said were very laughable in it, just the first trailer was a disaster. But then my hopes ended up getting rebooted when I saw the WonderCon footage and the second trailer. Those both really gave the movie a lot of promise that it could be good. However, after seeing the movie itself, it is a very 50-50 superhero film. Ryan Reynolds plays Hal Jordan, who is a cocky and very snarky test pilot because we all know that no matter what kind of movie that Ryan Reynolds stars in besides Buried, he always needs that snarky comic personality added to his character. He ends up becoming the first human Green Lantern and after the ring is passed on from Abin Sur, who's defeated by Parallax, who has now found its way to Dr. Hector Hammond, played by Peter Sarsgaard. And what Hal Jordan's job is to do is to train to become a full-on Green Lantern and defeat Parallax before it engulfs the human race uh, forever. As I said before, this movie is very 50-50, so I am going to start with the things I did like about it, though. Ryan Reynolds is a decent Hal Jordan, just I, as usual, they had to add on the snarky personality to his character, in which he does his best, really. For some reason, I just still cannot fully see Ryan Reynolds' potential as a superhero movie actor. Of course, he can get by on his looks and his physical build, but otherwise, playing Hal Jordan, who's a very serious character in the comics, he just doesn't fully get through on it. You know, come to think of it, I think Nathan Fillion would have made a way better Green Lantern. Too bad he had to be the voice of him instead. Blake Lively did a decent job. Like, I never really have a problem with most of the movies that she chooses, as long as she can just keep doing good movies, not starring on Gossip Girl all the time. I think that she can be a great actress. Like, we've seen it before from her. We don't really get all of that from her, but she does an okay job with the stuff she's given. Mark Strong, though, was definitely my favorite playing Thal Sinestro. Sinestro doesn't really appear all that much in this movie. Like, he's in it for, like, only five Five scenes or so, but he does a very good job. He stays very close to the character and he provides to be a great mentor for Hal Jordan, and I think that it's a great transition from him when he's not playing a villain all the time in which he gets to play a mentor for the first time. I really like that transition he made, and I think he nailed down the character very well. Now this is probably the most CGI heavy superhero movie I've ever seen, but the effects are terrific. The designs for all the Green Lanterns are done very well, the design for the planet of Oa is done very well, and Paris Parallax looked pretty good in this movie. However, that is about all I can think of for the good, though. Now, I know one of the very first questions that you guys are going to ask me will be, what did you think of the 3D? Well, to tell you the truth, it was very good for the first 10 minutes. The first 10 minutes, it's all CGI, and it doesn't really reveal any human characters up until the scene ends. But then, after those first 10 minutes end, with the whole build-up and background to how Parallax formed and everything... I could care less after that. The only reason that this movie was post-converted to 3D was because uh, of those first 10 minutes. Otherwise, it is a gimmick yet again just for people to pay more. Peter Sarsgaard playing Hector Hammond was just a really mixed bag for me. I know that the guy's a very talented actor, but he acted more like he was Lord Voldemort's long-lost cousin because all he does in this movie is scream and stare. Also, there's a very strong lack of focus. Like, the first 25 minutes plays out mostly like an action comedy because you have that big fighter jet sequence in the beginning and it's always filled in with these very poorly attempted bits of comedy in between most of the characters and then it keeps on switching off and on between Hal Jordan trying to become a Green Lantern and which really the planet of Oa isn't really even featured that much in this movie I don't even think it was spent in a third of the movie itself like, most of the movie just decides to focus on the relationship between Carol Ferris and Hal Jordan instead. That just really disappointed me. I really wanted a lot more backstory on the Green Lantern Corps, the ring, and, like, the planet itself. I didn't really get a lot of that in this. I can't really blame Martin Campbell because I think the guy's a great action director. I just think that he was given a kind of a poor script to work with because some of the dialogue is very weak and it just doesn't really all build up that well. Especially with the fight between Hal Jordan and Parallax. 
and I can almost really compare it to the Clash of the Titans fight between the Kraken and Perseus. They build it up so well from the previews, but when you finally see it on film, it's just very weak. It lasts so short, and it just builds up to nothing almost. So overall, Green Lantern is definitely one of the weakest superhero films I've seen, and it's definitely putting Warner Brothers on a bad run because out of all the movies I've seen they've released so far this year, I don't think I've liked one of them so far. I really wanted to enjoy Green Lantern. There were some parts I did like, but the whole movie was pretty much a 50-50 experience. I'm going to give it 2 out of 5 stars. There are some things that are good. There are some really good set pieces, but there is just a big lack of focus and the whole characterization behind how Jordan just feels very rushed in the end. So I hope all of you enjoyed my review of Green Lantern. If you liked this video, subscribe to my channel where you can check out more of my reviews, even my Mr. Popper's Penguins review that's up right now. So in the meantime, I'm Tyler from Cali Critic Reviews, and I'll see you guys later.